Okay, we got a got a little problem here. Uh, my roof vent's leaking around it. The boot, man. Anybody with a steel roof, if your vent comes up through the rib, good luck. It's a pain in the butt getting that seal. But anyway, here's what I've done with the old 3D printer. Right, right here's my my problem. Uh, it's this vent right here. Comes up through from the bathroom in the front part of the house. Um, that that right there. It's the source of my disdain. That that boot, the, the angle on it was wrong, so it always had pressure on it. It was trying to lift the, the downward side, and it finally got it peeled up away from the the steel roofing. So I've made a, a boot, a new one, on the 3D printer that I'm gonna stick down to it. And it's got a little closer shape and, and more sealing surface, so I think it's gonna solve my problem. Okay, right here, we're looking at it from the top, um, jumble up mess, we'll get, we'll get a little color going on and whatnot. Uh, just looking at it from the front, see right here where the, the rib goes for the roofing. Look at it from the right side, which we'll be looking at it from this direction over here. And there's your right side. Okay, now let's cut this thing up into what we need. Let's start with the green, because that's what we're going to keep. Let's turn off everything else. Turn off that. Turn off the red. And these are two separate pieces as of right now. Oh, no, they're all one piece. Okay, I've already connected them. So, let's go to the red now. Turn them on. And there's all the red stuff. Uh, this, this piece of red down here is for the, the ball part up here that's on it. So, we better put that on. We're going to need that. There, there's the ball part. <coughs> okay, uh, I guess the first thing we want to do is make the green one and the ball all one piece. There we go. Okay, that's all one piece now. Now we're not, we don't need this bottom part of the ball, obviously. That's where that's, that's where it's going to sit on the roof. So we want to subtract. From the green part, this bottom chunk down here. So I started that out in wireframe, which is what we have here, and it dawned on me that people that ain't used to looking at wireframe are going to be really confused as to what they're trying to see here. So we're going to go back to the to the front of it, and I've changed this to blue. Just to make it show up a little better, and that's again the shape of the rib in the roofing. Uh, other than that, the colors are all the same. So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch over to what they call realistic view, where we're just going to make everything solid, and I think it'll be easier to see and understand what's going on. So there, everything is in in, in what we call solid. So you can see everything. This red piece is the pipe where the making the hole where the pipe's going to come up through. You can see right here in this fuchsia color, uh, the ball, or at least part of the ball. And then there's the green part and the blue part. And Anyway, we're going to turn this so we're looking at it from the right hand side. Now you can see that this is the rib for the roof. Angle, because that's the angle the pipe's going to take, you know. Uh, so now let's go to spec subtracting some stuff. Well, first we need to combine, not subtract. So we're going to union the ball. It's going to be a little harder to click on now.
and this green piece down here. Well, it didn't work. Okay. It's a lot harder to pick stuff up when it's like this. There we go. We want that. Green just don't want to don't want to grab it. Whoop! There I had it for a second. There it is. Okay, make them both green. Well, <clears throat> okay, we'll make them both fuchsia because I selected fuchsia first. We're gonna grab that and turn it back green. Easier to see. Plus, I just like to. Green is the color I keep. Now what we got to do is we got to subtract. And we're going to subtract the green. No, we're going to subtract from the green. And what we're going to subtract is the red. That wipes out the bottom half of that ball. And as you can see, we still got the pipe going through everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little more subtracting. We're going to subtract from the green. And we're going to subtract this red, which is the pipe, going up through. And we got that hole in there now. Now let's look at it from the front. This is the rib, looking at it from the right. Flip around, look at it from the front. You can see the rib going through. We've got to take that out. <clears throat> so we're going to subtract from the green. And what we're going to subtract is this blue. Picking up the green. There it is. And boom! We now have our hole through it. Uh, let's dial this down a shade. And let's roll it around, take a look at it. Because <clears throat> that's what engineers like to do. They love to roll their stuff around. But you can see right there's the where the rib goes. Pipe going up through. So everything looks pretty good. I did get it a little thin in this area right here. I wasn't happy with that, but I wasn't going to go back and redesign the whole thing over it. Okay, let's let's take a look at it from the right hand side now. And we can uh, let's see that. Let me give you a little better rendition of what we're going to see. Obviously. The, it's not flat roof, and I know that my roof is on 26 degrees, 26 and a half degrees. So let's rotate this thing. That's what we want to rotate. We want our center of rotation to be zero, zero, zero. And we want to rotate it this way, which is, which I know to be 26.5 degrees. And boom! So now you can kind of see. And if we turn on my white here, that's the, the white pipe. That, that's actually a representation of the pipe, and, and that's actually not in the right spot. It actually belongs right about there. Okay, so once that's all done, it's time for printing. And as far as the uh, development of the actual rib itself, getting getting everything there right, uh, here's here's the basic geometry. That this stuff is just flat. It it has no height. That just gives me reference points. See if we look at this from uh, what are we looking at top there. If we look at this from the front, you can see it has no height. You can see it's there, but it, it has no height to it. So those those were my reference points. We'll just turn some stuff on here now. Uh, there's the outer part of it, the template itself. A lot of this other stuff that I'm going to turn on now has, has actual height to it. 1.2 millimeters, you can see here. Here's where I, well, let me turn that white off for a minute. We're going to get an error message, but, whoops. Turn that 
way off. Okay. So now you can see the different different pieces here. It gives me rounded corners and whatnot. Uh, let's turn a few more things on. A little more. Of, that's just a rough drawing of the rib. Something to take away from. <clears throat> Some more stuff that's got to be cut out of it. Let's see what we turned on. Light blue. Okay, that, that's pretty much all the pieces it took for me to make the rib. Now, let, let's see this rib pop up. Oh, and just for, if we look at it from the front, see, you can see now that all of that stuff has height. 1.2 millimeters is what I used. Just making a template. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is some subtracting. We want to subtract from the orange. And what we want to take off the orange is these two blue pieces. And this red box. I got so you can see our little better picture of our rib now. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to subtract from this this big back green piece. That, that's just all one piece. That's that's solid. This stuff isn't actually cut cookie cuttered out of it yet. So we're going to subtract from the green. And what we're going to take away is, let's just start with this, that red box. Whoops. Done something wrong here. Got to start that over. Subtract from the green this red box. So now there's a hole in there. Uh, i do a little more subtraction. We're going to get several of them this time. We want to subtract from the green, and what we're going to subtract is this, this, and this. Yeah, I managed to screw that up twice in a row now. There we go. This. This and that. Okay, so so we got these sharp corners down here, and and I didn't want those. Turn the fuchsia off. You can see the sharp corners. Turn that back on. So now let's see if I can get this subtraction right the first time. Subtract from the green space bar, and what we want to take away is. These two little corners here. And voila! We have, we have a template that I could use to uh, make sure I fit my rib properly. Uh, I got a hold of a company that makes a roofing and they weren't willing to cut loose with their CAD data, they call it, a blueprint of uh, all the angles and stuff on it. So I just had to kind of fumble around. It took me about five shots five different adjustments if you will to uh, get it to where it fit the way I wanted it to but but then the way we get this to cut out of the the actual boot itself is let's jump over here to red I could pretty much just make a red box we're gonna start it somewhere in here And we're going to run that box up and over about there. We want to make her 1.2 tall. That's where everything else is. And now, to get this shape here, man, for some really good effect, let's turn that right on realistic. We're going to subtract from the red. And what we're going to subtract is all of the green. And boom, there I have my template, if you will, that I need to remove from the boot and make everything fit right. Okay. 
So as far as the printing goes, here we are down in the printer room, and uh, here here it is on Cura. This is this is the program that tells the printer where to go. Up there in CAD, that, that program doesn't tell the printer where to move, how to move. Whereas this is the program that writes that the G code for it. Uh, we give her a little spin here for you. Okay. So there it is, and according to this, it's, it's about a 10-hour print, and that's not super accurate, but it's kind of close. I'm guessing it'll probably be an 11-hour print. Uh, we put her on the big printer. There's a medium size. There's my two smaller ones. There's not a lot of size difference in my printers. But this is the bigger one, and just for reference, that outside diameter of my boot, my new boot there, which is done, is 5 and a half inches. The hole in the middle that you're seeing, that that's three and three-eighths. So, so there she is. Uh, there's where the vent, where the rib goes through. Vent pipe. So it'll sit on the roof, something like that. Okay.